Alright guys, so here we are again, homebrew review number 15 I think it is. Uh, I'll write it up above if it's not. So, it's the first one from the big man, Adam Baldi's homebrew. So this is his Equinox and Mosaic Pale Ale, 4.2% ABV. So, let's go, let it settle out and be in the conservatory for a bit now. So nice and cold in here um the moment it says you know averages about 12 degrees a day so let's get a crack get a pod get into it so great here some good cannon smoke gotcha so we'll go on spike your just because i've got it here um see the head creeping up in there so the carbonation is going to be pretty good on this I imagine so while I was pouring this I'll let you know I've had mosaic before but I've never had knownly had equinox so get it all in touch a smeg in the bottom of there so shooting bottle conditioned I might draft a bit of yeast in, but for starters, look on the colour of that. So, it's a little hazy, that might be me dropping a bit of yeast in, but that might just be he's going to have, might have hopped the living crap out of this. Um, carbonation, if you can't see it already, is crazy good. Like, look at that carbonation, man. So, highly carbonated, good looking head on it starting to fade out a bit there but it's definitely definitely head on that quick roll and just raising up that glass so let's get it on the nose wow yeah as soon as that nose gets close to the glass you can smell that tropical fruits start to finish can get mango massive amounts of mango Absolutely, it smells fantastic, buddy. Um, tropical start to finish, mango hits in there, smells fantastic. So, it's getting on the taste. I've been excited to try one of your beers, buddy. Thank you very much. Cheers, Adam. Mm. That's good, smooth. Just a nice amount of bitterness, as I say, I'd say in the 40s for IBUs, maybe low 50s. Um, straight in the mouth you get that bitterness, but it's not like IPA, you know, full slap in the face. Um, very similar bitterness to the Session IPA I did, um, which I wasn't sure whether to call that a pale ale or an IPA, but I called it Session IPA. Um, <coughs> there's been a discussion on the BrewTube group today, actually it's Thursday, about um, what's the difference, why is a session IPA, is that not a pale ale, is it not, and there's something pretty interesting reads on that. Um, so yeah, back to this. Adam, that's fantastic. <coughs> Colour on that is lovely, it's like a nice hazy orange colour. You can see just enough through it that you need to. Not no more, no less. Um, smells fantastic. Tastes as good as it smells, dude. You can tell you do this at a very very high level. That is beautiful. Cannot fault that. Actually. I'm not going to lie yet, I can fault it. There's one thing that is wrong with this beer. Put it in a baby bottle. <laughs> I'm only joking, buddy. I know that you've got loads of these things and you prefer to do these for the weight and posting and stuff. And all that, but... Yeah, 500 mils of this would be fantastic, would be beautiful. Um, can't complain.
Quinn. It's just that good. Um, but yeah, buddy. Congratulations on that. That is a beautiful, beautiful beer. Um, I know you had a keg. So I'm going to have to get some Equinox. Brute with some Equinox as well. I might even just hit you up for the recipe and get a keg full of this on when this American wheat's gone. I haven't even started drinking it yet, but I'm thinking about what's. <coughs> I haven't even started drinking it yet. I'm thinking about what's going on next. I don't have a problem unless I've got no beer. So, everybody knows Adam from Baldi's. I'll put a link to his channel down below anyway, but, you know, guaranteed, if you're watching me, you'll be watching him and you'll know exactly where I'm coming from. A few people have reviewed this beer from already and I've not heard a bad thing about it. See, I've made up a bad thing about the dippy, the dingy bottles, but that's just a joke, buddy. Beautiful beer, thank you very much. Keep it up. And I've got three more from you. Um, I'm going to have to do the uh, <sighs> Citra Raspberry Smoothie IPA next because I can't wait to drink it. That is the top and bottom of it. Um, but yeah. Thank you very much. Please down below. Like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. And I'll see you at the next one we review. Cheers, fellas.